guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to our last holiday project because Christmas is just a few days away. Can you hardly believe it? I don't know where the time is going, but we're going to make a fun pillow to celebrate today. And that would be with our This Home Believes transfer. I've seen this used a ton of times on trays and I thought that was super cute, um, but I have been itching to do another pillow. You guys know I love pillows. So we, I thought this would be a perfect one for the pillow. We're gonna do a stripe on the bottom, stripe on the top. This home believes and kind of have the ornaments dangling down. So we will jump right into that. For those of you new to my videos, welcome in. I am excited you're here. My name is Laura, I'm an independent designer with Chaka Tour, and I'm gonna show you how you can make this quickly and easily with our Chaka Tour products. So the first thing we're gonna do is our stripes. And um, I'm using fabric today, obviously, for a pillow. So I do not need to fuzz this transfer. And I'm going to just center it right here at the top. Let's flip it around so you guys can actually see it. <laughs> it's off. And go ahead and push it down nicely. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do a, the stripe in red. Um, but I'm actually going to do one and then I'm going to immediately place it down when I peel it off. I'm going to place it right down at the bottom and do one more real quickly on top without washing in between. Um, and we'll cross our fingers that that will be okay, but it should be fine. So we will get our ink here and I'm going to do the red for the stripes. You'll notice also that I'm going to go peel one or not peel, but I'm going to drag the ink across one direction. I always do this when inking fabric because then if you only go one direction, it's less likely to go underneath the transfer and cause any bleeding. So we're just pulling the ink across. And when you do a chalk couture project, you obviously have a choice of any of your colors that you wanna do. This is our candy apple ink. And if you are wanting the project to be like re reusable, like a chalkboard, you want to erase it, or it's going to be on something that's not needs to be permanent like this, you're going to use our chalk paste. The only reason we use the ink is if we're going to have it be permanent. Uh, and so in this case, we want to have it where I'll be able to wash this pillow if need be. Chances are it's not going to get a whole lot of traffic, but just in case, I will have the opportunity to do so. So we're gonna just use the ink today and I will take you through how you can heat set that at the end here. Um, you do wanna be careful every time when you're doing ink, in fact, I'll pull up my sleeves. You wanna be careful that you are not uh, getting the ink on your hands because once you get it down somewhere, it is not coming back off. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this. And whenever I'm, you're not gonna be able to see this very well because I'm gonna have to pull it down. But whenever I'm using ink, I always kind of pull slowly. That way, if there's anything that I need to change, any, any little catches that I need to do, I can do them right then without a problem. That was a perfect stripe. So now we're gonna take the same exact thing down at the bottom, stick it back down. Now here, because the transfer is dirty, I'm gonna actually just take a clean squeegee and squeegee across. Now this is gonna put some ink through, that's okay. I'm gonna squeegee back this way because I'm about to actually put the ink on it for real. So I don't mind that it's gonna get ink on it, but it's an easy way for me to kind of create that seal without worrying about pulling too much ink underneath. Uh, or making a mess out of it <laughs> with my hands, <laughs> one or the other. So, let's see here, this is a little blob. So we're just grabbing the ink, pulling it across our second stripe. Hopefully this will work fine. You can wash and reuse these over and over again. I'm just trying to do the easy method <laughs> to save a little time and hopefully hope for the best. Hopefully this has got a good enough seal to where it won't bleed underneath the transfer. Again, I'm pulling only, only in one direction, except on the very edge here, I do have to kind of get in there because um, it's too close to the edge otherwise. So I do have to do the very, very edge 
then I do try to peel it back that one way. Okay, let's see how we've done. Cross your fingers. Oh, so there is a little spot here that needs a little bit more. This is why I do it slowly. That way if there is a little spot that I missed, I can just get it right away. Now some of this is distressed, so it's supposed to be uh, having some marks in it, but some of it is actually the ink in the transfer. So you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. But this worked pretty well, considering I'd already used it on the top. All right, awesome. So we'll put that over here in a bucket. When I'm done, I will wash these in cool water and then you can dry them sticky side up and reuse them over and over and over again. Makes it really fun to do different things. So if you wanna make a tray next time or something else, you totally can do that. Make sure I don't have it in my hands before I put it in my, my hair. Um, so this is our uh, bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the this home believes while this is drying. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. And we're gonna angle it off to the side because we're gonna put the bells on there too. That looks pretty good. This I'm just gonna do in black, nice bold black. And I'm gonna wait, oh, I do have ink on my hand. See, it was only a matter of time before I got a little bit on here. So make sure you're always checking. I got it on over here too, somehow, who knows? Who knows how we do that? But I'm gonna go ahead and do this one first because um, I need to make the little bells kind of hang off the, the line over there. So I'm gonna dry that corner before I do the bells here. So let's do the black velvet. And again, just pulling one direction, pick one. I usually go left to right just because it's the easiest for me. Oh, got some on my finger. But you can go whichever way you'd like. So, I hope you all have a very blessed holiday, however you spend it with your friends, family, neighbors, solo, you know, as a, as a mom with kids, um, that have different fathers, there's always a little bit of time, usually where I'm all by myself in the holiday. And instead of viewing that as a really bad thing, I try to view it as a really good thing, give myself permission to recharge and keep it quiet. We tend to keep holidays pretty simple anyway, this Christmas especially. So I'm just in doing things that enjoying time with my kiddos and family and should have probably not put that back in there in my bucket. Till I checked it. <laughs> Should have probably not closed it either. Good one, Laura. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> We've always do, done a bit of a simple holiday, focusing on the blessings that we have and not the consumerist consumerism focus of Christmas or what can be a consumerist focus of Christmas. So keeping things simple and instead making sure we're trying to spend some quality time together. That's, that's what matters in the whole grand scheme of things. Family is what matters most. Come on, <laughs> it's like, do I want to come off here or not? There we go. 
All right, so we got the This Home Believes. And now we're gonna put some little gold ornaments, uh, but I need to dry it first over here. So I'm gonna take my craft dryer and typically, I would tell you not to dry it while your ink mat is still in there because I do have an ink mat inside. Um, you'll see it here when I take it out. But I don't want to necessarily remove the ink mat all the way up in the top corner of the pillow. So I'm going to do my best to dry from a little bit of a distance so that it doesn't heat up the ink mat underneath. When you heat set it, which I'll take you through next, you're not going to put the ink mat there. You have to take it out before then. This is just buying me a little time with it still in because I do want it there for when we do the ornaments here in a moment. So just kind of drying at a distance <laughs> and hoping for the best. It seems to be okay. It's not totally like warping crazy. So as usual, all the, uh, all the ingredients is what I almost said. All <laughs> the materials that you need to make this project, you will find a link for up in the description. Uh, we have so many different, I mean, you can do any transfers on pillows. Uh, so your imagination is really the only thing that holds you back. You can grab a two pack of pillows, ink mat, some of our ink colors, and a couple transfers, and have a pillow making party with, uh, with yourself. You can also dye these pillows. They come in this natural canvas, but you can dye them if you want. I also have uh, done pre-dyed pillows off of Amazon before. They work great, so any kind of fabrics are perfect um, for our ink. It's getting there. And if you would like to give yourself a fun gift for the holidays, I would suggest the Club Couture membership. It is our monthly uh, membership that you get an exclusive eight and a half by 11 transfer. You get three coordinating chalk paste. You get our new catalog twice a year. You get specials almost every month. You get a welcome gift from me. You get a quarterly gift from me. Flat rate shipping, it's so much fun. And it's only $19.99 a month, great great program you'll get all the details and you can join at club.chocolatelore.com that is up in the description as well great little gift for yourself uh you know if if you have uh often for gifts for me i'm like just send me money i'll get what i want right <laughs> and if you want the whole shebang feel free to hop on board with with our kit our designer kit it's 99 dollars for our starter kit and it's going to give you everything you need to get started, whether you want to do this as a fun hobby, whether you want to make some extra money, you can sell finished products, you can hold workshops, you can do craft fairs, whatever you'd like. It's a really um, a great opportunity. You can also do it virtually. Uh, you can do videos like me. Whatever suits your fancy, and everybody's a little different, so I like the fact that Chocolate Tour really gives you um, no like mold, set guidelines that you have to be following to be able to do your business. So you can really do what suits you best. Um, and I love that. I love that ability. So I'm going to just put these bells right here, right at the top of that line. And we're going to do those in shimmer gold ink. So you'll find all the details about joining me at join.chocolatelore.com. It is also up in the description box, but a fabulous opportunity. I mean, it's been one of the, the biggest blessings in my life. I'd love to help you. I uh, have over 20 years of experience as a top performer in direct sales. So if you're really wanting to make a go of this, I, I can help you with that. Or if you just want a fun hobby, I can help you with that too. As a designer, we end up saving 40% off. Somehow there's a little piece of black ink in there. There's a little black mark on my my uh, ornament, I guess, but we save 40% off as a designer, which is a great way to do projects cheaply. So if you're like an addicted to all the Chalk Couture products, you definitely need to join as a designer. It's way too much fun not to anyway. Uh, somehow I must have gotten some black ink on my transfer but I'm gonna blend it a little bit as much as I can here. 
with the gold it's almost not even visible now yeah you can can't even see it no worries there we go these are little ornaments and we'll put that over here now we do need to dry the whole thing let me make sure i've got nothing on my hands i'll hold it up for you guys to see first of all simple classy right you could add trees or other things like greenery on here we've got a couple different tree uh transfers speaking of transfers totally forgot to, to remind you that uh next week the week of yes next week gosh because it's the 21st i can't even wrap my head around that is the week after christmas the last week in december we're having the annual transfer palooza sale over at the vip group um, and those of you who've been with me since last year know that this is a huge event. Here's the ink mat, by the way, reusable as well. So just um, just uh, wash it, dry it, put the little sticky stuff on there again, or the little paper protector thing on, and you're good to go. But transfer palooza happening over in the VIP group um, all next week. I don't even have my calendar with me. I can't even remember what day of the week it is, but. Starting next week, Monday through Friday, whatever days those are, um, hop over to the VIP group. If you are not already in there, it's group.chocolatelore.com. Link's up in the description. And uh, you want to be a part of it because you're going to find transfers around 80% off. You'll find new transfers. You'll find used transfers. There's a buy one, get one deal. And, and there's free gifts involved. It happens once a year at the last week of the year and it is always a really really big event and obviously it's first come first serve so we will be posting the things will be available for sale throughout the week uh, while supplies last and I am furiously taking pictures and listing all the things getting it all ready to list for you it's gonna be so much fun so hop over to the group if you're not already in there you don't want to miss the annual transfer palooza because it'll be fun it'll be fun and there, there's going to be transfers from all different you know throughout the whole year i basically collect them all year and then at the end of the year do a big blowout sale but so there's different holidays and seasons and you name it it's it's going to be there you want to be in the group anyway because that's where i always do my sales we can't do those kind of things publicly so any kind of cool discounts or craft kits I always offer discounted craft kits quite a bit as well. All of that is found in the group. The group has the advanced notice of the craft kits as well. So they always get first dibs before I even do the video here to let you know it even exists there. So you want to be over in the group. Group.chocolore.com. Hop over there. We have some fun. And I don't overwhelm like in the group. I'm not posting. I don't even post every day. I just post when it's relevant to you cool I, I'm sharing the videos in there um, <coughs> excuse me I'm sharing the videos in there I share specials discounts but otherwise and I also encourage you to share your stuff too if you're if you would have made some stuff with Chaka Tour, I would love to see it over there in the group feel free to post it into the group and share with us which you did oh so I'm gonna turn on my heat press you'll notice I took out the ink mat now we're drying the design and then we're going to heat set it. So when you are using the ink, you can do it on fabric. You can do it on anything that's oven safe. So like a mug or um, serving platter, something like that. And you're going to heat set it at the very end once it's dry to be able to make it permanent. So when you're doing a fabric like this, we'll dry the design, which is what we're doing now, having a chat <laughs> while we dry the design. And then you can either use an iron or a heat press to um, to set it. I forgot that's getting a little warm on my little mat underneath. Um, so if you have a, an easy press, this is a Cricut easy press. No, you don't need to have this, but if you're going to make lots of things, you're looking at making some finished product or something like that, it's a great time saver. Uh, you're going to do 305 degrees for 30 seconds. That one was still a little wet. 305 for 30 seconds on the front and the back. So t-shirts, 
kitchen towels, pillowcases, um, anything like that. I've actually got two sweatshirts over there. I have no idea what designs I'm going to do, but I'm going to do some sweatshirts coming up eventually because uh, I love to ink. It's very fun. And then if you're also wanting to do something that's going to go in the oven, uh, oh, let me back up. Lost, losing my train of thought. So if you do not have an easy press, then you're going to use your iron. Medium high heat, four minutes on the front, four minutes on the back. You'll cover it with parchment paper, or I use this reusable Teflon paper, which is basically like glorified parchment paper. Um, still wet. <laughs> this is normally if you're doing this, by the way, at your house, you can just leave it on the ink mat, let it dry overnight by itself, and you don't need to rush things along. I'm just trying to rush things along. So, um, but four minutes, move your iron all around, medium high heat. Uh, on the front and then flip it over do the same thing on the back and it will be heat set for you and ready to be washed laundered whatever the case might be now if you want to do something that's going to go in the oven that is done you put the um, item you can dry it sometimes like mugs and certain shiny surfaces take a really long time to dry they may take days or even a week to dry just kind of have it hang out in your house for a little while till it's dry and then you're going to put it in the oven cold. So you, before you even heat the oven, you put the, um, it's a good thing I'm watching where I'm touching. You put the uh, mug or whatever you're doing in the oven cold. And then you're going to heat the oven to 350 degrees. Once it's up to 350, you're going to cook it for 30 minutes at 350. Sometimes people have done... Uh, like ceramic coasters and stuff for a little bit longer than that but I find that 30 minutes works pretty well for most things and then you're going to just shut off the oven leave it alone and let it cool down inside without taking it out so we are almost done here drying I think the red the red is like the black is dry dry the red is taken forever even the, the shimmer is dry. The red has still got a little bit of shininess to it, so it tells me it's still a little wet, especially on the edges here. So we'll hang out for another minute and do that, and then I'll heat set it for you, and then I'm gonna actually got a little pillow form right right next to me that I forgot to grab, but I'll throw it in there so you can see what it's look like. Because um, I always think it looks a little different when you put it in the pillow form, you know, in there, rather than just when you're when you're showing it flat. I think it looks a little different. There's a little bit on the edge here that refuses to dry. Same on this one. Come on, baby. As always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Feel free to leave a comment below or send me a, a private message. Um, also, the, just because this is the last holiday project, do not fear. I will be back on Christmas Eve Eve, on Thursday, with our next video. Um, I'm going to actually be making a gift on Thursday's video. It's top secret. I can't share what it will be, but it is a gift. And actually, the next two are gifts. So next week, we're going to round out uh, December with a uh, another one on uh, Tuesday that's a gift. And then I can't remember beyond that. <laughs> so, but look at my little advent calendar. It's all the way down here on 21. This is definitely a keeper. We're going to pack that one away. Definitely a keeper. It's fun. I love advent calendars. It reminds me of when I was little. And my mom and I used to make advent calendars. And she would, we would do it on a piece of cardboard, like a thin cardboard. And she would put two pieces together. Well, we would draw the whole thing out. It was usually a nativity. It was usually a stable. And then, um... She would, we would draw the whole thing out and then she would cut out little like doors and windows and like the little angel or the star. She would actually like cut it out with an X-Acto knife, then glue it onto another piece of cardboard and then write tiny little messages in the, in the middle. I wish I still had one. I don't know, mom, if you're watching. If you find an old advent calendar of mine, I actually would like to at least take a picture of it and see, see it. The corners, man, corners are killing me here on this red. This one's dry because we dried it earlier. 
the middle is pretty good. It's the corners that were not. Yeah, that's so it was pretty good. Blacks, awesome. Shimmer's good. Just the corners. Just the corners. But I'm um, in the process, speaking of keepsakes and stuff, I'm in the process of kind of taking a bunch of pictures of keepsakes that I want the memory attached to them, but I don't want the object itself to take up space. So you, if you guys know me in real life, you know I'm kind of a minimalist. Uh, and so this has been on my to-do list for probably nine or ten years. And I'm finally getting around to doing it. Finally getting around to taking pictures of these fun keepsakes, which is why, Mom, if you have an advent calendar, I'd love it to, if you take a picture of it and send me a picture. So we're going to do this in four blocks. I'm going to sit that back down in the corner. Four blocks because she's not big enough to do all four at one time, but 305, 30 seconds. And like I said, if you are doing uh, an iron, it's just uh, four minutes. Make sure you keep your iron moving, though. Uh, medium high heat for that. Do, 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 do. You guys sing the Jeopardy song like when you're waiting to do something, or is it just me? Do, 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 do. We're on final Jeopardy because this is an extra long song because this is an extra long, extra long uh, heat setting thing here. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday though this week. And we are almost at 2022. That is so hard to believe. You guys have probably seen the meme going around, like how disturbing it is that 20 years ago, somebody says 20 years ago, and in my mind, I think 1980, and if, to come to find out 20 years ago is 2001, I'm like, no, I'm very disturbed at this thought. This is, this is impossible. What do you mean 2020 or 2001 is 20 years ago? This can't be. This just can't be. Anybody else feel that way? I don't know. I think this year in many ways did go by a little fast. So while this is doing, let me grab my pillow form, which is right here, right, right here, my pillow. Forgot to grab it, but since we're not doing anything except washing the heat press, we shall grab the pillow. But yeah, the eighties were a great decade, were they not? All you uh, Gen Xers out there, Shout out to my Gen X people. We had the best, right? The best. So we're going to do the back side after this. You shall see. And I actually think I'm going to do one more. I'm questioning whether it's kind of needs to be a little bit more in the middle too, because well, this is a nine inch square, so it should should overlap. Should, we should be okay. We should be okay. I'm thinking, you know, does it go and get all the middle and everything? Now, when I'm doing the back side, I actually put the, the Teflon paper down so that the design is protected. Because here, you know, there isn't anything on it except the pillowcase. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you have all the links are up in the description as usual. So, and if you need any help picking things out or just want my advice, you just send me a message. I'm happy to help. If you have questions or need help, I want you to have a great experience with Chalk Couture and your purchase and uh, your finished product to turn out fabulous, which I know it will. Oh yeah, I can see now that they, we're, we're overlapped just by a hair, but good enough. Good enough for an overlap. Two more and we're done. Two more. And then we'll put our pillow, well, we've got to cool it off for a second, but then pull it, put our pillow in and I will show you how pretty it is and simple to do a fun and easy project. I just love Chalk tour stuff. It just makes it so much simpler. I thought there's no way. And then if you're ever doing like, I used to have a Cricut and um, that was such a pain to do the vinyl work and have to weed 
everything. If you guys are, have ever done a complicated design, if you have a Cricut, you know what kind of craziness that is to weed for like what seems to be forever. No weeding here. Transfers are already done for you, already distressed for you, already cool for you. It is so awesome. Way better. I actually ended up selling my Cricut. I don't, I didn't even, once I got into Chalk Couture, I never used my Cricut again. <laughs> never. Never. Once upon a time, I did actually have a vinyl business. But that uh, quickly became a Chalk Couture business. Well, that was a good decision, by the way. <laughs> But one of those things is because of the weeding. Last one, guys. I feel like I should offer some sort of funny joke or entertainment for you. I have a hair that I keep seeing that's like, I don't know where it is on my face, but it's bothering me. I see it, in, I see it when I'm looking up at the camera. I don't know. We'll just have to deal with it because we are almost done here. All right, let me turn that off. It's hot, 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 hot. All right, let's put our pillow in. Shove the pillow in, maybe side. Make it come to life. There we go. Oh, it's still quite warm. <laughs> Up in that corner, that top corner is where I ended. It's a little warm. Straighten at it. Use wampus in there. Gotta tell it who's boss. Make do what I want it to do. All right, zip it up. Ta-da! Now, isn't that the cutest thing ever? I doesn't it totally change the design when you put the pillow case on? Like it just adds this dimension to it. You just don't get the good idea when it's flat. So this home believes, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. But I will see you back on the 23rd for another video. So it's not quite Christmas yet. But this is our last holiday project. I'm always a little bummed when the holiday projects come to an end because I do love doing them, right? We had a lot of fun this year. We did... Uh, our, I think the snowman, he's one of my faves. I, we did snowman and deer and then the let it snow and we did the Christmas countdown, of course. Christmas block set that's behind it, doing there. And snowflakes and stars and trees and cutouts, oh my. Uh, we did our Christmas gnome. The grateful was really Thanksgiving. Uh, we have a believe all the way up there and the reindeer parking. So many good holiday designs. So here's our last one. Have a wonderful night, guys. I will see you back on our next.